Welcome to the integration and orchestration tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create an integration from a backend service that exposes a mobile friendly REST API to our mobile devices. We will also learn how to combine multiple integration services into a single orchestration to reduce the complexity and number of calls from a mobile device to the mobile backend. Now, before we dig into the mobile fabric console, let's see how integrations and orchestrations help us expose mobile optimized services to our mobile apps. Most enterprise services were never designed to connect to mobile devices. They use heavyweight services like SOAP to communicate large amounts of data that would bring a mobile app to a crawl. Since mobile apps run on constrained processor and have bandwidth constraints. In a world where poor app performance can cause an app to fail quickly, creating mobile friendly services that expose only the data the app needs using RESTful JSON services is essential. This is where Mobile Fabric comes in. Mobile Fabric easily exposes backend services as mobile optimized services by transforming data on the back end into RESTful JSON services that are easily ingestible on the front end. Once you expose your back ends as mobile friendly integration services, we can combine these services into a new orchestration service that takes a series of integrations and merges them into a single service call that reduces the number of calls your mobile app needs to make over a wireless connection and puts the logic of calling these services into mobile fabric middleware. Think about the performance of your mobile app. Reducing the calls your app will make will help increase the performance of your apps. Let's dig into integrations and orchestrations to see how easy it is to expose your line of business services as mobile optimized services for your apps. Let's click the Apps tab and the API Management tab to take us to our API Management view. As discussed in the previous video, we have three different types of APIs we can manage. Identity, Integration, and Orchestration. Now this tutorial is going to focus on Integration and Orchestration. As you can see, I've already configured a number of integration services. The left-hand navigation allows me to quickly view any of these services that I've exposed. If I click on a service, I can see what operations are associated with that service. In the right-hand section of the screen, I can see the type of backend service I'm exposing as a mobile service. View any types of apps I've created by clicking this link, as well as look at any different versions of the service that I've created right from the console. Now I'm going to click on the Coney Weather Service. On the right you can see where I configured the base URL of the service, the service type, and the version number. I can specify a URL or provide a WSDL file to describe each SOAP service. Each service's configuration is tailored to the type of service. Let's take a quick look at the SF Accounts service. Now you can see how the base configuration changes for the service based on the type of backend I'm exposing. Notice how I can quickly map an identity I've created in the Identity Services tab to my Salesforce service. Integration services have one or more operations that can be invoked from a client and map to the same backend endpoint. Let's take a look at how I created one of these operations for service. You can easily define operations for each service like the Get City Weather Zip operation that you see here. Notice there's a Request Input and Response Output tab. The Request Input tab allows you to specify any input variables you need for the service and expect from the calling client. As you can see, I've added a test zip code here in the test value field. If I fetch the response down here, it takes that test value for the zip and it returns a raw response, as you can see. This allows you to make a request and see the raw response before you tailor and transform or optimize the data returned from the client in the response output tab. As you can see, the service returns a lot of data we don't need for a mobile app. We can modify the response using the response output tab and some XPath configuration. Now I've already tailored the response for this operation as you can see. And I've used some quick XPath statements to find my city, state, and temperature from the new response that I've mapped. And notice that I've also mapped them back in the mobile response as a lowercase city, state, and temp. If you click the Output Results tab, you'll see a much smaller response than what we saw in the raw output. This is the value of using Mobile Fabric to create concise, mobile-optimized responses for your mobile app. Now you can send back only what the mobile app needs. This makes calls over a constrained connection, like a mobile connection, much more efficient. Now, if I want to send back a collection of data, you can use XPath to find the start of a collection. 
Notice I have a forecast list variable of a data type collection. Any item in a record of the collection is associated with the collection ID, as you can see here. If you look at the raw result, you can see the collection forecast result that becomes our forecast list and our output response. So real quick, I'm going to hit test. I'm going to come over here, and this is our soap. And if you look right here, this is all the data we were talking about, and here's my forecast result. Now, if I go over here and I look in the output, you can see I've mapped that initial forecast result as a forecast list, and it's coming back as a mobile-friendly JSON object. Now, let's say I want to combine multiple service calls into a single service call to reduce the number of calls and logic needed in the mobile app. This is where we can leverage an orchestration. The orchestration tab has a similar look and feel as the integration tab. If I click on a service, like the Coney News and Weather Orchestration, you'll see that it makes three calls, local news, get weather by zip, and get forecast by zip. If I want to add a new operation on my orchestration, I can simply drag it from my services over here into my orchestration over here. We'll pull the, an operation from our accounts, get account right into our Coney service here. Now I can make sequential calls that use output from one service as it calls the next or I can call all the services concurrently. So think about it this way. If I want to speed up the calls themselves and I'm doing multiple calls and I do them concurrently, then all the responses are coming back at about the same time. This increases the speed of my response instead of having making individual calls from my application on the mobile side. Now when you're done, you can go into an application like the News and Weather app and you can actually assign the integration and the orchestration into your news and weather demo app and you can publish that app just like you did in the identity video that I've done before. So in this tutorial we learn how to create an integration from back-end services that expose a mobile friendly REST API to our mobile apps. We also learn how to combine multiple integration services into an orchestration to reduce the complexity and number of calls from the mobile device to the mobile back-end. Please check out developer.coney.com if you need more documentation, tutorials, or post to our forums. Thank you.